so we back at it again with the back at it again in a more comfortable location. You know what I'm saying? My bones is aching and shit. Uh, <laughs> they, they wrong. <laughs> uh-uh. So at any rate, um, yeah, we in the living room now. I like this more. The acoustics is better. Let me relax. Okay. So we back out again. I told y'all this would be kind of a part two kind of segue. You know what I'm saying? And as y'all can see, that's lovely T up there that I hashtag. Um, she's a good influencer that I like to watch. I've been probably watching her videos probably about, let me see, when 2019? Probably about six, seven years now. I really like her. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Lovely T. I always shout out any black woman doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you dark skin. But with that being said, um, I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't gonna talk about this, but I ain't gonna lie. Like, I needed a moment to discuss this. You need a moment. You need a moment. You need a moment. She need a moment. So as y'all can see there, that's the um basketball wives uh video right there. But I needed a moment. Oh my god. It, it was disgusting as hell. Oh my god. And I think I just posted on my story and I said, uh man, we gotta do better. But nonetheless, let me read it to y'all. Alright. Okay. So, this is a post that she posted, by the way. Okay, so my husband is turning me off. We've been married for two months. What should I do? His feet stink. His shoes smell up the room. Also, he wears white briefs. When I was washing the clothes, the whole seat of his underwear had brown stains under in them. It made me sick. Then once I was riding him, like sex. Then after we were done and he got up, there was a brown streak where his ass had been on the bed. So I finally got some personal cleansing cloths and put them on top of the toilet. He never touched them. Oh yeah, and one time he went, I went in the restroom and it smelled like whole ass. I kept trying to figure out where that smell was coming from. I saw wet tissue in the trash with brown crumbs on it. Why the hell didn't he flush that tissue down the toilet? I finally mentioned the personal cleansing cloths. He got pissed and screamed in my face. He told me that a real man doesn't go in between his cheeks or spread them open for anything. Men do not spread their ass cheeks, their cheeks, to wipe or clean. Nothing goes in between them. What needs to happen here? Suggestions, advice, no bashing. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I gotta go fix some tea. I, I'll be right back. I can't. I can't. Alright, there we go. That was a light. Um that was nasty as hell. <clears throat> uh so while we at it, you know what I'm saying? Promote your black women. So you know what I'm saying? Lovely tea. This video about her. I'm also drinking her tea, her raspberry matcha. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so with that being said, this aligns, this story perfectly aligns with. Disgustingly, but perfectly aligns with you know, the questions that I was posing in the last, or the questions that I, I, I may have posed them, but I, if I didn't, what is masculinity? What is true masculinity at the end of the day? Where have we gone as a people if men are getting to the point to where it's too good? And I'm just going to say this based off of what I'm assuming men are like this would say. It's gay. Or it's too girly to wipe your ass. To wipe your fucking ass. To wipe your fucking ass. Your fucking ass. To wipe the shit off your ass. Bitch. If that is gay, then bitch, I'm gay as fuck. Oh my God. What is up, Adam Lambert? Come get it. If that's gay, then shit. What the fuck? That was so fucking nasty. And y'all, that's the third time I read that story. That's not the first time I read that shit. So, with that being said, oh, let me get this out of the way. That shit's good as hell. I like the vanilla one better, especially if you're trying to cut back on sugar, that would be a good option to get. Um, I'm gonna have to get some more because I'm about out of this. But at any rate, she did good with that tea line. Props to you, lovely tea. But at any rate, um, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it can be, you You can look at that and laugh and this and the third and joke. But at the end of the day, it really says where we're going as, as, you know what I'm saying, as masculine men in this day and age, how we move. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand. And, and to be honest, like, 
you know what I'm saying? Like double standards, they exist everywhere. Like for instance, and girls have talked to me about this before, you know what I'm saying? Um, they talk about how, it's funny how guys love to grab girls' asses, but as soon as you grab your girl, your, even if it's your boyfriend, your straight up boyfriend, as soon as you grab his ass, it's World War Three. You know what I'm saying? Or four, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, um, excuse me, sorry. Um, it's just, um, I understand, there are double standards everywhere. Some work in favor of women, some work in favor of men. And I think it's important to acknowledge that, you know what I'm saying? And just to, you know what I'm saying, go back to that Gillette commercial real quick. That does not mean there are no women out there who aren't, you know what I'm saying, who aren't. The, yes, there are groups of girls, you know, hell, I, I have two in um, my family, two in my family I can think of right now. Very mean. They are mean. Like, I'm mean, but, and I'm an asshole, but I'm the funny type of asshole. Like, people usually laugh when I say shit. Like, I remember this one dude, I never forget. And especially, uh, speaking of this, I got a delivery driver story time coming up pretty soon. Um, I think I'm going to get me a camera, you know what I'm saying? Do this shit a little bit more professional. It's looking better on this video than the last few I posted because I'm doing it through my phone. But, you know what I'm saying? Let me um, try this on the highest res possible. I don't know if this is it, but let me try it on the highest res possible see how I like that. I might just do it on the phone. Um, and I cloud it to the computer and edit it like that. But at any rate, um, oh, yeah, this dude. So, it was this, like, you know what I'm saying? This is back when I was delivering, driving on Fort Gordon base. <clears throat> And there was this dude um, who I had to deliver to. And there was these three, like, construction workers or whatever down there. And I made it all the way up there. God damn, fuck all those people who live on the third floor and the second floor. But god damn, I made it all the way up to the third floor, finally. And, or he might have been on the second floor. But nonetheless, this dude was just making weird noises out of nowhere. He started making weird noises out of everywhere. And he was like, what's going on down there? And I was like, I don't know, probably, like... I don't know, it sounds like 20, uh, one chromosome missing, if you ask me, or whatever. And I had just taken my medicine, so the Tyson in me hadn't calmed down yet, quite yet. And he laughed, you know what I'm saying? He could have took it a whole other way, you know what I'm saying? But he laughed, you know what I'm saying? He ended up tipping me $10, you know what I'm saying? So my assholeness, assholedness, it usually helps me, you know what I'm saying? Then harms me more than it harms me, you know what I'm saying? But they're just straight up mean. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just say stuff that's not even, you know what I'm saying? It's not even, we just don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I can think of two off the head. So, with that being said, I understand that there are girls, mean girls. You know, that's a fucking movie. We know that. So, we know that there are women out there who, I'm sorry, I feel weird if my right arm's naked and I don't think I got my wristband. So, real quick. Uh, we know that there are girls out there who bully other girls. You know what I'm saying? Just like there are boys who bully other boys. Acknowledging one side of the spectrum and does not erase the other one. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting tired of people thinking so closed-minded and narrow-minded like that. It's not that fucking serious. And that's really childish. If you're sitting here as a grown fucking man and you're trying to throw it back on women, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you sound like a bitch, like a what about me bitch. You know what I'm saying? Or a real on some real childish shit. You know what I'm saying? Or what about me? Or you know what I'm saying? Um, but they did it, bitch. That doesn't excuse what you're doing right now. That's like you sitting in the principal's office and bringing up the fact that, well, the other day these two girls got in a fight. Bitch, either one, they didn't get caught, or two, your fuck ass, they not in this office right now. They already got reprimanded. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case may be. So stop trying to, you know what I'm saying, uh, throw blame or deflect. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that shit, period. I try my best not to deflect, you know what I'm saying? With the whole surviving R. Kelly shit. I don't like how people are saying, oh, well, what about surviving Harvey Weinstein and surviving all this and that? First of all, Harvey Weinstein, if I'm not mistaken, he's going to jail. He's going to prison. You know what I'm saying? As far as Hugh and the others are concerned, I can't remember exactly what happened to them, but something happened to them. Um, one of them is going to die pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? I understand the unfair bias that the system, you know, brings upon but to sit there and say, oh, well, the black people do it and shouldn't get arrested since the white people aren't, that's some stupid ass shit. Because you know damn well, if that was one of your children R. Kelly had, you would be fighting to get your damn kid. At least I would hope. I would hope. Since we're living in a world where in vitro, and you know what I'm saying, trying to have kids, uh, uh, you know, through other selections costs so fucking much money. Like in the hundred thousands, it costs money to do that shit. I would hope. That you would fight for your child if your child was with R. Kelly. And if you do feel that way, that strongly about your child, you know what I'm saying? Or whoever, whatever musician, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? And if you do feel that strongly about your child, then you should understand the pain that these parents are going through and not try to also throw it back on them. 
You know what I'm saying? Bad enough you got people trying to blame. Well, really and truly it's bad enough you got people trying to blame parents. But now y'all trying to say, oh, these girls fast. Oh, these this, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? Or they need to stay out of a grown folk place. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even religious anymore, bruh. But he who is without sin, let's try living with that mantra. Try. You know what I'm saying? I realize that we're humans. Not We're imperfect. We're not going to ever be perfect. But I realize that we can try. You know what I'm saying? I've realized in the 21 years that I've had, I realized that we can try. We can at least try to live by that mantra, if anything else. He who is without sin. So that means nobody. It's okay to call each other out for in case of for somebody to better something that they need to do, especially if they're in your inner circle or they're in your family. You want your family and your friends to be the best version of them possible. Hopefully, I would hope. You know what I'm saying? But let's try to, you know what I'm saying? That's okay. But let's not do things like that, you know what I'm saying, in this situation, especially when that's not important. It, what's important is the safety of those children, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, there are parts of society that we can improve as a people, you know what I'm saying? To be honest, really and truly, the 16-year-old girls, you know what I'm saying, if I'm being logistically true, like I know for a fact I live in Georgia. In Georgia, the state of legal consent is 16. It's not 18. Society says 18. So to be honest, I, I mean, I care, but I don't really give a rat's ass about the 16-year-old girls. I give a fuck about the 14-year-old girls. That's straight up illegal. Uh, society says 18. A lot of these states, though, they're, let me, here. I got this rested on the laptop right now, so let's look it up. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. What states, or let's see. Ages of consent in U.S. That's fucking nasty. All right, let's see. So the lowest age of consent is 12 in the Philippines and Angola, 13 in Burkina Faso, Comoros, Niger, and Japan. That's fucking nasty. But with that being said, all right, let's see. That's Wikipedia. I would rather go with something else. Let's see. What are we reading them by? Um, let's see. Of course, they're harsher if one is significantly older, which he definitely is older than these people he's going by. See, I was talking about double standards earlier. Some states distinguish the difference between sex with a male and female and sex between two males or two females. And until very recently, any type of homosexual sex was um, illegal, regardless of age. All right, boom. Okay, age of consent by state and acceptable differences between ages. Alabama is, let's see, in fact, I'm going to try to do them by two so we can get this done faster. Alabama and Alaska is 16. The age of difference in Alabama is two, the, um, or the acceptable age difference. The acceptable age difference in Alaska is three. Arizona, 18, acceptable age difference, two. Arkansas, Arkansas 16, age of consent, three years in between acceptable different ages, or three years for acceptable difference in ages. All right, California is 18 for age of consent, zero. So you need to be 18. Colorado, 17, age of, ex ew, acceptable differences between, eh. Uh, Acceptable differences between age, four. Connecticut, 16. Acceptable differences in age, two. Delaware and Florida is 18, straight up, and the acceptable difference between ages is zero. Georgia, 16 is age of consent. The acceptable difference is zero. Hawaii, 16. Acceptable difference in ages, five years. Idaho, 18. 17 for Illinois, 16 for Indiana, and all of those, no, except there's zero. So you, you need to be 16, you need to be within those ages, um, both participating uh, participants. 
So with that being said, Iowa is 16. The acceptable age difference is four. So as y'all are seeing, none of these are saying, because R. Kelly is old. Like, let's not act like he ain't been doing this for years, but let's also not act like he, you know what I'm saying, fresh out the pie. He old as hell. He almost 50. So with that being said, I don't think any of those, let me just keep on scrolling down. Utah, the acceptable age is, uh, or consent is 18. The acceptable age difference is, is 10 years. I mean, if he, you know, these are black girls. I'm just going to be honest. I don't know any black people in Utah. I'm just going to be honest. I don't really think that's a thing, much of a thing. There's probably some that live there. But I doubt it's a big amount. So let's just go ahead and assume he wasn't doing none of that legally. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the highest um, acceptable difference you can have is 10 years. And you still need to be 18 to do that. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of people trying to say that he... Um, you know what I'm saying? Trying to say, well, 16 is the legal age. Yeah, that's true, but let's not act like he didn't recently graduate to 16 to 17 and 18 year olds. He been getting 14 year olds before. He been going to high schools even before he was famous. So let's not let's not play stupid. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that stuff. The double standards, you know what I'm saying? The, oh, well, this and that. Let's just not do all that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that does wrong, they all need to be punished. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, y'all get the gist of this. You know, the highest age is 10 and the lowest age is zero years in difference. But I'm sure he wasn't bagging, bagging girls from Utah, I'm pretty sure. And even if he was, they, they weren't of age because he just recently graduated to 18 year olds. Let's be keep it honest. But with that being said, so those are the legal ages, you know what I'm saying, of consent. You know what I'm saying? So 18, that's just a society thing. You know, a lot, some of those were 16, some of them were 17. But, um,. With that being said, that's something for you to decide. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you can't police your child. But you know what I'm saying? You can not say, I would prefer you to, you know, da 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 That's the talk that everybody has with their kids. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, some kids receive it. Some kids have to learn the hard way. But to sit here and say, a child, oh, well, they just threw themselves in the dungeon because they're trying to be grown pretty much. You sound like an asshole. You sound like an asshole. And you shouldn't have any kids. If you do have kids, I hope Deepak takes your children. If that's how you feel. Because then you would feel the, you, you should feel the same way about your child then. So if your child go on a bus with R. Kelly and never come back, oh, it's okay because she was being fast. You wouldn't say that shit. So stop saying that shit. Stop doing it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where we got into as a people where we can't have fucking compassion for people. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Let me relax, though. I'm good. Let me have some of this damn tea. Damn, the damn matcha's unblended. Shake, shake, shake. All right swivel whatever <laughs> but um nonetheless we didn't went from topic to topic back to going back to this though um man just do better i, I don't even have nothing to say after that i'm i'm winded i didn't work out i'm out bones aching i feel old as hell <laughs> um and i need to eat i haven't eaten at all i just had them vegan shakes that i was telling y'all about earlier in the um superfood you know what i'm saying protein or whatever the fuck um um superfood powder but yeah um on that note, I just want to, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we as men, we have areas in life where we can work at on. We as women, uh, and, and women, they have areas of life they can work on too. However, right now we're talking about the men in this specific commercial. That doesn't take away from the fact that women have some things they can work on too. You know what I'm saying? When I say grown folks business, I was talking about all men and women. You know what I'm saying? Because both of them do that. I'm pretty sure if y'all have black parents, y'all have heard both of them say, this grown folks business. This ground foul business, let me just stay out of it. So, that's one of my triggers. Let me relax. But, um, um, you know what I'm saying? And since we want to say this grown foul business, let's be grown then. You know what I'm saying? Let's be grown. Let's not be childish. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to buy their shit no more, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But don't sit here and make other try to make other people feel bad for still participating or, or feeling like they did something good. You know what I'm saying? But, um, um, with that being said, y'all let me know what y'all thought down below about the commercial and what y'all thought about this damn story because this shit nasty as fuck. Like, uh, sir, that's disgusting. Um, but nonetheless, y'all let me know what y'all think and I will catch y'all on the next video. I'm glad to be joining y'all on video again. So, let's see how that's going. A lot of those, you know, videos for me just coming back on YouTube. Well, I mean, it, I didn't just came back. It's always been a year since I've been back. But they're getting a lot more traction. So, I might do some more in video videos. I know later I'm going to do the twerk. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Because y'all seen how the Chanel slides went. I want to try to do this reaction video through video pad. But if I'm not going to sit here and struggle with it for four hours and, uh, you know what I'm saying, and be finished at 7 o'clock at night. I'm not doing that. Because um, I did a mini workout earlier. I still got to work out later. Um, my full workout. 
So with that being said, unless these bones still cracking, then I just let myself rest and just deal with that. Um, Cause my aim goal is to get like 30 minutes, but I mean, it, I'm trying to push for an hour and some change. But um, with that being said, um, I'm not gonna be dealing with this for four hours. You know what I'm saying? If it'll work, it'll work. You know what I'm saying? If not, we just gonna do it like the bootleg Chanel slides where I put the phone down and I record, or uh, uh, maybe um, where I put the phone down and you know what I'm saying? Let y'all see me watching it. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I, I, I'm not, all this text every shit that ain't for me. I, I stay in my lane. I'm a musician, I'm a creative. I write, um, I, I make birth to beautiful music. I birth beautiful music, that's what I do. But I, I, all this tech shit, all this, let me put the screen there and then you gotta, die, uh, woo, can't do it. <laughs> so with that being said, um, be on the lookout for new music and y'all be on the lookout for that twerk, um, new music coming soon and be on the lookout for that twerk re, uh, reaction. Um, I almost said remix, I mean, I am working on one, but. <laughs> Y'all be on the lookout for that. That's some, you know, tea, so shh, don't tell nobody. But you know. Um, Y'all be on the lookout for that later on today. They're dropping a video at 3, and it's 1.24 p.m. now. I'm going to give it till 4 o'clock. I ain't going to lie, because by the end, my family getting home. I'm going to give it to about 4 or 5 o'clock. If I can't get it to work on the video pad how I want it to, we're just going to have another bootleg reaction. It's okay. It could be my niche. My niche, you know what I'm saying? All these YouTubers got niches, so that could be mine. But yeah, at the end of the day, Men, let's do better. You know what I'm saying? Brothers, let's do better. That's it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You a real man. Protect your family. You know what I'm saying? Be protective of your loved ones. Don't worry about what other men are doing because that's some bitch shit. That ain't even some bitch shit. Let me stop saying bitch. That ain't even some women shit. That's just, that's, that's not what manly is. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like gay people, that's fine. You don't have to like them. You don't have to sit here and bash them either though. If you don't like something the man's doing or how a man's moving, that's not your business because you're a man. You should be worried about numero uno. So with that being said, let's put that, you know what I'm saying, into what masculinity is, you know, things like that. Take care of your own. Take care of you how you see fit, you know what I'm saying, and um, move how you want to move. And at the end of the day, men or women, male or female, be who you want to be. Be yourself. Just be yourself. Be you. Don't worry about what other people say. Don't worry about constructs social constructs, uh, men can say whatever, I mean, ain't nobody had yet to say something to my face, you know what I'm saying, I have friends make jokes about the added in here, but, I mean, hell, it's braided back for a reason, if a nigga wanna say something, we can fight, <laughs> let me relax, but, um, you know what I'm saying, I, I do me, I do what I want, I don't give a fuck, I am who I am, you know what I'm saying, be who you are, own who you are, and be true to yourself, I hate to sound like Disney Channel, but, <sighs> that's my takeaway from this, um, y'all let me know what y'all think down below about the ad, though. And let me know what y'all think about this story. Was it as disturbing to you as it was to me to read it to y'all? And, um, I think Lovely T's page is back on um, private, so I think y'all can follow her. But, um, y'all can go find that page there. Um, yeah, that's about it. I need to go eat. <laughs> there was so many damn ums. I'm so damn. I ain't hungry, but I, you know when your body need to restore it after you work out. You try to get food in as fast as possible. So, with that being said, um... Yeah, let me go cook, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.